Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minimath. And today we're going to graph uh, f of x equals 2 to the x power and g of x equals log base 2 of x. And these two functions are inverses of each other. They are inverses of each other. Okay? So we've already made a video here graphing each one of these functions. So I'm going to kind of go quickly through this. If we make a little table here, we can see our values of f of x uh, and g of x. So if x is uh, negative 1, 0, uh, 1, and 2 are our, our four values we're going to be using. Negative 1 is 1 half, uh, 0 is 1, 1 is 2, and 2 is 4. All right. If I take g of x, okay, if I grab g of x, we'll get a table here. I have x and g of x. These values, all right, these values, if x is a 1 half, we have a negative 1. If x is a 1, g of x is 0. If x is 2, we have a 1. And if x is 4, we have a 2. Now, one thing we should notice between each one of these is that the x values of the pink function, f of x, are the, the y values, or the g of x values, of g of x, and vice versa, right? The x values of g of x here are the... Uh, f of x values here for f of x, the y values, okay? So let's go graph this and see the relationship between those two. So here with um, f of x, which is 2 to the x power, when x is negative 1, we have a 1 half going on here. At 0, we have a 1. At 1, we have a 2. And at 2, we have a 4, okay? So this graph goes up here. And it's increasing. Now. Not the best graph, but it's not the worst graph. Okay, a little free camp here. Okay. And if I graph g of x, plot my points here. When x is a 1 half, we have a negative 1. When a, a, a x is 1, we have a 0. When x is 2, we have a 1. And when x is 4, uh, we have a 2. So if I were to graph this, Now notice, if you remember from before, we have a horizontal asymptote for f of x right here, and we have a vertical asymptote for g of x right here. Now, these two functions are inverses of each other, meaning they are reflected over the line y equals x. So, y equals x right here. If I graph it to the best of my abilities, all right, we see... That this line right, is a good reflection of our f of x and our g of x. That these graphs are reflected right over this line. And same thing with our asymptotes. Our asymptotes are also reflected over the line y equals x. And so these two functions are inverses of each other. They are inverses of each other. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, the creator of Minute Math. And if you like this video, please hit the like button that's right there. If you have a mathematical question, just add it to the comment section below. And lastly, if you want to see more videos just like this one, hit subscribe. It's right there. But as always, thanks for watching.